If it's your first time getting a pre-built KBO 5000 keyboard, I'll walk you through the process and explain some terms. Each keyboard has additions unique to that individual keyboard, which is why there's a video for each pre-built. Switches. We have clicky, tactile, and linear switches to choose from. If you want to send us switches to install in your board, choose the customer supplied option. Rotary encoders. If you want none, one, two, or even three, this is where you let us know what rotary encoder situation you'd like. Each encoder box you check will populate a box to ask you what color knob you'd like to go on your encoder. Left shift. You have the choice over a bigger shift key or a split shift that gives you a 125U key and a 1U key, also known as ISO. Left half bottom row. Choose here how your keys are arranged. Consider what size of a spacebar you might like to have. Backspace. If you want to have a backspace and delete key, go for the split backspace. If you're vibing with a larger backspace, go for the 2U variant. Enter key. If you'd like to rock the rectangular shape, go for ANSI, but if you're an upside down L shape kind of return key person, go for the ISO. Right shift. Similar to the left shift, the choice is yours as to whether or not you want a larger key or two keys. Right half bottom. It looks complicated, but this is giving you the chance to choose your arrangement of keys like the left half bottom. Additional notes. If you're sending us some switches, here's a great spot to let us know tracking data and whatnot. Also do email us so we can make extra sure we got everything you need. USB-C to USB-C cable. We have white and black, and both come in sizes of 30 centimeters and one meter or more. All right, that's it from me. Hope this helps keep your keyboard order smooth. Kayla from KBO, over and out.